You have changed. They are the same. Today's video is for a very wide group of people. And I do hope that this relates to you because there's nothing better in life than to turn from a losing streak and head to a winning streak. My personal experience has been accepting that the Lord is my savior, Jesus Christ is my savior, and getting off the broad road to the narrow path. That has been my experience. But this video is for anyone, born again Christians, um, people who are now sober, working on their sobriety, people who come from a dysfunctional family where they were labeled the scapegoat or the abused and they realize that they are a survivor and they are working on their healing from childhood trauma. This is for people who have turned away from drug abuse or different addictions, people who are working on their healing. You may have family and friends, people in general, they remember you for who you were. They remember the old you. Maybe you were the brunt of jokes. Maybe they enjoyed knowing that you were the loser of the group. Perhaps you just turned away from fornication and adultery and you're no longer that person that an individual can use for their gratification, um, ungodly sexual unions. You made a decision with this free will that we've been granted by God. You made a decision that you've had enough of being the victim and being the loser. And you cried out to God in some way or another. And God heard your cry and he's healing you. I want to encourage you to look at things from this perspective. And hopefully this can help you. You're the one that's changed. They're the same. In many cases, they, meaning family, old friends, people who know you, many cases they're going to get worse. But you're the one that's changed. So that means I'm going to encourage you to see it this way. That means that you should not hold anyone from your past, including family, responsible for accepting these changes. Many times we are encouraged. Excuse that airplane. Many times we are encouraged to go no contact with certain people because it's just not healthy for us during our healing. Going no contact, some people believe, especially those that are on the other end of the, um, on the receiving end of the no contact, the people that we have to go no contact with, whether they are the abusers themselves, the enablers, or the flying monkeys, they think it's some type of punishment that we're trying to put on them. When in reality, it has everything to do with our healing and boundaries that we have to set up as we get healthy, as we become a better person. And sometimes the opinions and the way that these individuals that we've gone no contact with, or we should go no contact with, because of the way they view us and because of the way that they see us and perceive us, the way they want us to be under their thumb or under their foot, it makes healing very difficult. So the reason I'm saying this is because you're the one that changed. We're coming up on holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and whatever other special occasions you may be expected to interact with people that either have not changed at all or got worse deeper into the darkness. I encourage you to stay 
on the narrow path that you're on, even if that means walking away from your past, especially while you're healing. When I first came under true authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, because I was truly always a believer, I was raised Christian, but my involvement in the occult and new age practices, I was obviously lukewarm and on the broad path. But when I came under the Lord's authority and made a decision that I'm gonna line my life up with what God wants and not try to make my will trump God's will, but instead I go under the authority of the Lord Jesus. When I made that a priority, I realized that I was changing. But as much of a blessing as me changing is, my surroundings changed and the people that knew me to be lukewarm, broken, a loser, a victim, those individuals, because many of them do not think that the transformation is supernatural, they may think it's just an act or a phase. It was unhealthy for me to continue interacting with them. And this may apply to you as well. So as you are changing, as you are getting better, healed, closer to God, more in line with what the Holy Spirit is leading you to do, as you're accepting the fact that you don't want to be a victim anymore, but you want to be a winner and that you're learning to love yourself. Many people from your past, they're gonna have to go. And when I say they're gonna have to go, what I'm really saying is, you're re really leaving them where they are. You're the one that's going. I know sometimes as we change, it feels like these people are drifting away from us but really we're drifting away from them we're being elevated god is raising us up to where he wants us to be and many people are not intended to go where god is taking us one of the main purposes of this message today is to let you know that there are people in your life more than likely, because there are people in my life that had a perception of me a certain way. And they really don't want to see where God is taking me. In their hearts, they already had jealousy or envy or contempt for me when I was in my broken state. But as God heals and elevates and raises you up out of the muck and out of the mire, and out of sin and off of the broad road to the narrow path, out of the darkness and into the marvelous light, that envy and jealousy will only increase. This is my encouraging word to you today. Yes, we have some major holidays coming up. Some people have already gone no contact with certain individuals. I want you to be encouraged to trust that where God is taking you is beautiful. There will be times perhaps that you may feel guilty or you may feel lonely on this path that you're walking on, this path out of the darkness and on the narrow path in the light. There may be times of loneliness and uncertainty, but you are being healed and God is changing you. And most of the time, Many people from your present and from your past may not be welcome where God is taking you. So I do encourage you to stay on the narrow path, stay on the path to sobriety, stay on the road, the narrow path. If you have walked away from fornication, drug use, drunkenness, um, a life of sin, blatant sin against God, um, many th different things that are ungodly, witchcraft, occult work, 
if you've walked away from the party lifestyle and it seems to call you back, maybe people from your past send you a text message or get, give you a call wondering where you are and what's going on, wanting to meet up again. Maybe there's an invitation from the family for a family function. My suggestion, if you're a born again Christian, always pray and ask God for guidance and wisdom. And if you're not a born again Christian, but you are on your healing journey, I pray that your healing journey would lead you to Christ. But I also pray that you would stay on your path to sobriety and healing and continue not having contact with people that can jeopardize this path that you're on. You're on a winning streak, but you're not even where God plans for you to be yet. So stay strong and know that you're changing and you're changing for the better. God bless you and take care.